Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great night, folks, and a great week. And check it out, folks, okay? We're going to have to check this out. So my grandson, Tommy, Tommy's son, right? He is growling, like, amazingly right now. We were growling and prowling all morning long. He has it down pat. I mean pat. It's a beautiful thing. Be impeccable with your word. Re replace fear with love. The human mind is like a fertile ground with seeds that continue being planted. When you're impeccable with your word, your mind is no longer fertile ground for the words that come from fear. Your mind is only the fertile for the words that come from love. This is a great card, man. You either live in love or live in fear. And I've done both, folks, and let me tell you something. It's a lot easier living in love. You know, we all go through these trips. There's no doubt about it. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 241, Nasdaq's up 228, SP's up 53, gold contract up $5.80, trade at 1833 an ounce. We got silver up 7 cents, $23.27 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 18 cents, $89.54 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10 year note up five ticks, 126.23. The 30 year up 13 at 153.06 and King Dollar. King Dollar is down 131 ticks, trading 95, 512. Euro is 114. The yen is at 115 and a half, and the British pound is at 135 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. Let's go into the futures first because this has been a heck of a day. They're running the market, there's no doubt about that. Um, we have a n big contraction of volume happening here. So this is going to get really intriguing watching how the CPI is going to come out tomorrow and how the reaction is to it. I mean, it's going to be a hot CPI, man. But let's get into where this S&P is right now. So what we just had, last two 10-minute bars, we just went down, you know, uh, what, 12 S&P points. What you have there, you get volume behind the move. So right there, what is that, 45.54 yeah, 45.54 is game. That's, that's this morning. That's how this is setting up right now, you know. And, you know, it's only 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So the bottom line is that we'll see how that shakes out. But you get an expansion of volume. Right now you're at, uh, that's 10 minutes. So that bar just finished. The first bar, meaning 10 of 3, we had 26,000 contracts. We just did 35. 35 is going into 19 going into 41. So the, the bottom of 41, and it, I suspect it will get there, is that's another 11 bucks lower. So we'll see how that shakes out. But that's where it looks like it wants to go right now. NDX 100. Let's go take a look at the NDX. Bring the NDX up. You're up 241 points right now inside of the NDX. Okay, so bring this one out. Okay, so same setup in the NDX. The difference in the NDX, now this is going to get cool. The difference in the NDX, this is kind of nice actually. Um, I suspect we're going to go down about another 30 points. But it's going to be really hard for the NDX to get under the futures. This is 14,951. We're at 981 right now. I expect it's going to try to make a run for it. And what that is, that was the open bar out here today. And then we had another bar right underneath it with 18,000 contracts. Yeah, we only did 11 on the way down. So we'll see where it shakes out, man. Gold, gold contract out here has price, <coughs> excuse me. We need volume, man. That's the real bottom line. This is, uh, we're gonna do probably about 130,000 again, and that's not a lot of volume. Uh, so this thing's gonna get uh, pretty wild out here tomorrow morning when that CPI comes out. Uh, right now, you're up six bucks, you're at 1833. And, um, you know, we'll see whether, you know, we can get an expansion of volume. You know, it's, it's going into the downdraft. The downdraft uh, was pretty extensive, though, meaning you're going into 150,000. Uh, notes and bonds. So the 10-year note is on a confirmed ABC structure on the way down. You're up four ticks today. And what that's all about, folks, there are buyers of bonds. I mean, in a monster way, too. Um, that auction this morning, it was a very um, successful auction. Uh, it went off, 10-year notes went off at 1.904, uh, and uh, 
you know, the bottom line is that you had two point six dollars chasing every dollar. Um, the biggest part of this is that these were direct issuers, folks. Um, you know, you have the large banks um, basically are licensed by the Fed. Um, you know, they can they can as dealers and they have to buy so much. But everyone else can come in direct. And when they come in direct, OK, the bottom line, you're going right to the Treasury. Um, they had a, they had a big number out here today. There's no doubt about no, no doubt about it. Um, it was that's what, what was most of the buying. And with, where that comes in, that comes in with trust funds, hedge funds, states, countries. OK, straight right in. You know, so it's, it's, it's a big number. There's no doubt about that. And no shots on YouTube. Well, you got them now? You got them now. Okay. Um, some of the, oh, let's go to the dollar. So CPI is coming out in the morning. This is going to basically shake things up a little. Even, you know, it seems like we're going to have hot CPI. Uh, King dollar here, been laying out down the first leg down. So we'll see whether King dollar is going to do a monster ABC structure on the way down. Um, you know, the B point out here is a 95, 137. Uh, if we go over to the euro, we take a look at the euro, just the opposite of the U.S. dollar, of course. And, uh, you know, we'll see the, the euro already broke its consolidation. You know, we, you broke the top of the consolidation at that 113. You're at 114.26 right now. And the pound. Let's a look at the pound. So the pound is flat out here today. Hmm, interesting. The pound looks like it wants lower price, actually. Yeah, this, this failed the whole price today at 135, so it looks like it's going back to 134. We'll see how that baby shakes out. Some of the higher volume equities out here today, and it looks like it's going to be a low volume day because when we come back, I'm going to go to Jose and Lakeland first. Uh, but the Dow, when you look at the Dow numbers, meaning the volume, the Dow's taking out the B point and it doesn't have the volume for an ABC structure, confirmed ABC structure up. It doesn't mean it won't go higher, it just means it would have been a lot easier if it's an ABC structure confirmed. You get NVIDIA up 13 bucks. You get uh, Uber up a buck 67. We have Exxon off 40 cents. Uh, PayPal's up two bucks. You get uh, Advanced Micro up 357. And Facebook. Facebook finally caught a bid up 1178. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.